The Twilight Saga's titles are never explained in the original novel series or their blockbuster movie adaptations, but they're secretly a reflection of the character arc undergone by the main character Bella, Kristen Stewart in the movies. Released in 2008, 13 director Catherine Hardwick's Twilight was a gloomy, grey-tinged adaptation of Stephanie Meyer's YA sensation The Twilight Saga. The hugely successful paranormal novel series told the tale of Bella Swan, an ordinary teenager, and Edward Cullen, Robert Pattinson, the ageless vampire she falls in love with. Bolstered by a strong cast and a self-aware streak of humor, the Twilight movie adaptations may have flopped with critics but they were a hit with audiences. Although the Twilight series never explicitly addresses this, each of the individual installment titles can be read as a reflection of where the story of Bella is, and where it is heading. The Twilight Saga's titles reflect both Bella's emotional states throughout the novels and their movie adaptations, and the state of the infamous love triangle between herself, Edward, and the hot-headed, problematic Quillute werewolf Jacob, Taylor Lautner, in each installment. A huge success upon publication and an even bigger hit at the box office a few years later, the original Twilight was a phenomenon that at the height of its considerable fame rivaled the Harry Potter series. The original title comes from the point at the end of the day where it's neither day nor night, the only time that is home to both vampires and humans traditionally. Since the infamously sparkly vampires of Twilight aren't killed by the sun but instead exposed by it, the Cullen clan of the saga resides in the small, gloomy town of Forks. It is perpetual twilight in the small town, meaning Bella is never far from vampires and can fall for Edward despite traditional vampire lore dictating that he and his brood of bloodsuckers couldn't live normal daytime lives. However, there's also a metaphorical meaning to the title, as well the practical point of the Cullen family requiring twilight to mask their condition. Like so many fictional pairings, Bella and Edward fall for one another at the twilight of their youth. As late adolescents, they are neither considered adults nor children not yet free to live independently but also not as innocent and in need of protection as children. Here, the twilight of the title refers to the end of their childhood and their inhabiting of the space between adulthood and childhood.